Hello, I am Dr. Anil Gudi, consultant in reproductive medicine and surgery at the Homerton University Hospital, London. Today we review a paper on the effect of the oral contraceptive pill, long-term effect of oral contraceptive pill on the anterior follicle count. And how soon does the anterior follicle count recover after stopping the oral contraceptive pill? The reason why this is important is that in the modern times, we have more and more women who are, are on the oral contraceptive pill. Many of these women consider freezing eggs. They come to your clinics. And often when we do an ultrasound scan, we look at the anterior follicle count and say there were six or seven anterior follicle accounts we could start the stimulation after a, stopping the pill. The answer which we have to give here is, would it be preferable to keep the oral contraceptive pill and stop it for at least three months before starting the stimulation? Let's have a look at this study. Studies do confirm that more than six months oral contraceptive pill is associated with a rever reversible suppression of anterior follicle count. A few weeks of the pill does not seem to affect the anterior follicle count much, and it does not affect oocyte yield. This is what we see in our IVF cycles. On the other hand, long-term suppression of gonadotrophins affects follicular development, affects pituitary response to GNH hormone, which may be blunted. And thus it is possible that follicles seem to stop, stop growing or grow more slowly. From January 2012 to September 2016, three groups of patients were looked at. One, where they did not have the oral contraceptive pill. The second, where they had the pill, but there was no break. One or more months prior to stimulation. And other was the pill with no break at all. And the last was pill for more than six months. So what you're looking at is, they were looking at what, no pill, pill with a break, and pill without a break. Follicles of 2 to 10 millimeter were counted. And if you have a look at the chart, the chart says no reconstructive pill, pill, no break stimulation started. And where they had long term use of pill, initial anterior follicle counts were done, repeat anterior follicle counts were processed, the break was between 1 and 13 months, a final count was done, and then stimulation started. What questions do we need to answer? Does long-term pill lower anterior follicle count and lower ovarian reserve? If we break the pill, is it there, there a reversal of AFC suppression? How long does it take to improve anterior follicle counts? Is there a potential for improved oocyte yield if you take a break from the pill. The results demonstrate that it takes up to six months to completely improve the anterior follicle count. Overall, 80% of women saw an increase in anterior follicle count. By two months, about 25% of women showed some increase. After four months, 50% of women saw some increase. After six months, there was seemed to be a plateau. They did not see any more positive impact of that BRAC or increasing anterior follicle counts. The results also demonstrated that long-term use of the pill does lower ovarian reserve. Also, that a break from the pill reverses anterior follicle count suppression. And in this case, almost in, in about 61 women, the anterior follicle count almost doubled after taking a break. In addition, 
the study found that if you took a break from the pill, the oocyte yield during oocyte retrieval for egg freezing tend to increase. And if you have a look and see what happens with the break, there is a significant increase in the number of oocytes re retrieved much greater than what we with the antral follicle counts that they started with. The oocyte yield in some cases almost twice that of no break. So what do we conclusion do we come from here? If a woman comes to us while she's on the pill and she's on a long-term pill, look at the antral follicle count. If the antral follicle count is good, you can stop the oral concept of pill and start the stimulation. If the antral follicle count is low, then wait for a few months. Review the scan every month to check if the antral follicle count is growing. If the antral follicle count is changing and improving, persist, but after three months to six months, make a decision. It is known that after a break of six months, antral follicle counts do not increase. The plateau has reached. But if after one month you see antral follicle counts change, see for the next month, if it changes again, then I think you can start stimulation. Thus, in conclusion, we would say that the pill does decrease the antral follicle count. It is reasonable to take a break of one to three months on the pill so as to improve the antral follicle count. If your antral follicle count is good, you can start the stimulation. Thank you very much.